Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to unroot and return to stock ROM and restore your warranty on your OnePlus 7, 7 Pro, 70 and 70 Pro. You can follow along with this tutorial if even if your device is in a bricked state or if you're running on a custom ROM and if you want to go back to the stock ROM. This video is divided into two parts. One is where you restore your phone to stock ROM and part two of the video will explain you how to lock your bootloader. Now go to the link in the description and it will take you to an XDA page. Under downloads, select any of the link which will take you to the fastboot firmware download page. From there, make sure you select Europe if you're from Europe and global if you're from anywhere else in the world. Also note, download the file that starts with 10 if your phone is running in Android 10 and go with the latest version starting with 9 if your phone is running in Android 9. Now after you download, make sure you extract the zip file into a separate folder and keep it somewhere accessible because you'll need it throughout this process. After that, go to your mobile phone and power it off. Wait for your mobile phone to completely power off. Once that's done, you're now supposed to go into fast boot mode. You can do that by pressing and holding on your volume up and down button along with your lock button and holding it until you get a vibration. Once you feel the vibration, let go of all three and this will take you into fast boot mode. Now once you're into fast boot mode, Connect your mobile phone with your Windows PC and open a command prompt window. After opening a command prompt window, make sure you also open the separate folder which you have created that contains the extracted files from the firmware. Now from the folder drag and drop the fastboot.exe file into the command prompt and type devices and hit enter. Now if you see a random string of numbers and letters followed by fastboot that means your Windows PC has now detected your mobile phone. If your mobile phone was not detected and if it says it would say unauthorized. Now if you get the message unauthorized, make sure you download OEM drivers from the description below and install it on your Windows system and try again. Now if you have done all the steps correctly so far, you can proceed by closing the command prompt window and locate the file named flash space all dot bat. Once you find the file, double click on it after double clicking on it let it do its job this will take around 15 minutes so please be patient bear in mind you will see warnings like invalid parts file and so on this is not an error please ignore it I will show you the entire process so that you can compare with your system. If you would like to skip to the part on how to lock the bootloader, go to this time on the video.
now once this is done your phone will now boot back into stock rom this will take slightly more time than usual because technically this is the first time your phone is booting back into stock rom please give it its time you can now close the command prompt window and disconnect your windows pc from the phone i will fast forward the booting process once the phone has booted back on make sure you go back to settings developer options tap on build number seven times and then go back to system developer options and enable usb debugging you will see that oem unlocking is already on that's because your bootloader is still unlocked we will now proceed to lock your bootloader Now in order to lock your bootloader, you must power off your phone and then go back to fast boot mode. In order to go to fast boot mode, press and hold your volume up and down button along with your lock button. Hold until you get a vibration and release all three at the same time. Now once you're into fast boot mode, connect your phone back to your Windows PC and open a command prompt and type fastboot space devices just to check if your device has been connected successfully or not now again if your device has been connected you will see a string that has random numbers and letters followed by the word fastboot once you get that correct follow along by typing the command fastboot space oem space lock I repeat fast boot space OEM space lock and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you will get a prompt on your phone. What you're supposed to do now is use your volume down button to navigate and use the lock button to confirm. So hit the volume down button twice to go to lock the bootloader and hit the lock button once to confirm. This will now wipe your device once again and lock your bootloader and restore your warranty your phone will now be back to stock rom just the way you had it when you unboxed the phone brand new you can now disconnect your phone from your pc and once your phone boots back on set it up as you normally would that's it thank you for watching if you have any doubts or queries, make sure you comment them down below. You can also reach out to me on Twitter and I'll make sure I'll answer all your questions as soon as possible. Please support this channel by showing whether you liked or not by hitting the like or dislike button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more OnePlus related videos. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.